So today I'm going to make a video demonstrating how I built these DVD shelves. So I've got one more spot or line, whatever you want to call it, to fill in right there, which I've got right here. And as you can see, I've got my movie. And you can see I've given myself, I believe that's like a quarter inch. Um, I'll bust out the measuring tape. Let's give it a double check. It's been actually a very long time since I've even added or built more shelves because it's been a bit slower getting the remaining line filled here. Because as you can see, I have so many DVDs now. So you just get a lot of duplicates. So you just don't buy as much, right? Because you just, you already own so many. So it took very long time for this, but I want to add the remaining in because now I've gotten all these DVDs right here. So let's take a quick look. All right, so let's measure the DVD. So that is five and a quarter. And we're gonna go right here. And I got that at five and three quarters, so half an inch. So I was off by a little bit, but half an inch. And as you can see, uh, depending on how it goes, some are a bit longer, right? Like these Curb Your Enthusiasms go right to the end. And that was what I was compensating for, things that I just were out of my control as you can see here and then we also have the height of the dvd which this guy is seven and a half and then we're going to take a look at my shelf and you can see my shelf is sitting at about eight and a half and there is a little bit of fluctuation here as you can see but um well you can't see but <laughs> i'll explain that in a sec so if you look up at the top there, you can see that the, sorry, the ceiling's a bit funny. It, this is like a man cave, so to be expected. So you are going to lose a little bit. So um, let's see if my finger can kind of point. It kind of goes up and down a bit, a quarter of an inch as the shelves. Like you can see this guy's not perfect, right? But as you go far away, now you can't notice anything. So you can see my flaws a little bit when you're very close to it, but Aside from that, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And um, these have been up for what, two years, I think? So let's get into the how I will install this shelf. So let's kind of start at the start of it. So this is initially where I started and I didn't know what I was doing the first time I was gonna build this. So I actually made, um, it's really hard to see, sorry, I use halogen and incandescent lighting. I don't like LEDs, so it won't be the brightest, but somewhere around there. I was making the first line, like the whole top shelf, they were five feet apart. And what I would use are these funky brackets that you see right there. And I'm gonna get you a bracket here and show you. This is what the bracket looks like. And what it does is it screws in right there. And then we screw in uh, from the top here into the three quarter inch wood there. Um, the way, the reason why I have these brackets, um, I would imagine you could go about this so many ways. Like if you had scrap wood, you could rip off the half inch, uh, uh, what would you call it? Like the wood from like a skid, if you want to do this cheap and on the very low cost front, uh, this is just three quarter inch wood that I have. But, uh, if you had half inch from like the top of a pallet and you wanted to rip those boards off, I'm sure you could use that. You could even build the brackets out of wood if you wanted to. It's just, I worked at a metal fabrication place and sometimes people make mistakes and somebody made like, <laughs> I forget what it was, like 50 or 60, 60 of these things or whatever and they went in the scrap bin. So I kind of went backwards. I had actually had two different, uh, so I had this bracket and had another one that wasn't as good. And so when I first attempted to build the first five foot um, shelf up here, the other bracket, um, I had it up for like a day and then it fell, fell over so I had to go back to the drawing board now am I the biggest fan of this no um, has it created any problems for me though since I did it no um, I've actually since built considerably better shelves upstairs for my wife like the brackets are way better and installation I don't know if the installation is easier it's kind of the same for both except the brackets that I built upstairs um, they run like this and then they run the whole length of the shelf it's just this is what I had to work with at the time and I didn't want to get involved. I want to see if it would work. I was like, cause it would save a lot of money. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. And let's just explain one other thing here. So of course, when I moved into this house, I don't know, lots of years ago now, obviously I don't know 
what the back of the, like, I don't know what behind the wall looks like, but I do understand what framing is. Um, I, and I'm not gonna, I, you could say I've been working on crazy projects today, so this will be cleaned up after this video. I don't know if you can see it back there, but like there's a plug back there. And if you know anything about framing, you're gonna know that there's gonna be a two by four that runs up. And that's how I knew how to hit. So you can see this is what I would call like a deck screw. And that's screwed right into the two by four, but this guy's an anchor. But then if I take the tape measure and I run 16 inches across, I'm gonna hit another uh, two by four in the back wall. So that's a, so you can kind of see the trend here. Hit another two by four there. Um, for some reason I didn't do it here, but I think it's so funny cause it's been so long since I did this, but I think the reason was it kind of depended what shelves I was doing. I, so I had changed the size. Um, let me quick measure this. I forget if this guy was three or three and a half feet. So yeah, it's kind of funny. I don't know where I came up with the measurements. I, I, when I had remembered it myself, I thought I had done it. I ch had changed it to three feet intervals, but I guess I had changed it to four feet mostly, but then some of them are like three and a half. I'm kind of not sure why I did that. As I said, this was like quite a while ago. I remember being a little frustrated on, for some reason I flew. So once I got the first one done, this one went like, second one went amazing. Third one went pretty good. And it had been like six months later or something when I did the bottom one. So maybe, I don't know, maybe my brain wasn't there, but it doesn't really matter. Like you can't really tell, but I did shorten it from five feet to uh, less, like three and a half, four, just, because so basically if like one shelf falls, right, you're only losing like a few DVDs, right, as opposed to the whole thing falling. So um, let's get into it though. So to finish this line now, I just need to put one more of these funny brackets right there. Um, strangely enough, the hardest problem of this entire like DVD thing was this corner. There's something funky going on here. There's something like behind the wall there. I just don't know what it is. And when I screw into here, I got a lot of weird issues, but it's, there's, <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So that's why this one, I don't even hit, like I don't even anchor it in, but you can see like even this basement, I think it's like some weird length, like 17 and a half or something like that feet from one side to the other. But it's just a small little shelf. Like it's not very big. You can see here if we measure it. Yeah, it's only like, Sorry, I apologize, like about 17 inches like to finish this. So what I'm gonna do is screw in these guys right here, which I don't know if you can see this. I got these from Home Depot. They can hold 75 pounds and I'm gonna be screwing two of those guys in. So let's get into that. And one other thing I can quick explain is all I do is measure right here. So remember I told you it was eight and a half and then I'm gonna measure eight and a half right here, but I'm gonna put a pencil mark right there and then I'm gonna screw in the bracket. So yeah, I think I had said that this was uh, eight and a half, but it's actually eight and a quarter in between there. So you can see that I've marked up this guy right here and let me show you. So that is gonna be the hole for those guys. Sorry, hopefully you can see that, those guys right there. So I'm gonna drill it and obviously I'm gonna line this up. Uh, it looks like that's pretty good. Obviously I'm not gonna hold the camera. I'm gonna screw it in. But yeah, I gotta put the two anchors in there. And then, uh, so if this was eight, oh, sorry, where was it? This was eight and a quarter and this is three quarter inch. I measured nine inches right there. So let's get to it. We'll install this and then I'll show you what's going on here. Another cool thing, hopefully you can see that. One other cool thing there is uh, that's uh, this is the screw that comes with the um, it's just all blurry. It's a screw that comes with the uh, the anchor set here, but you can see that these are slotted holes right here. So rather than just put the screw through, what I did was took a number ten uh, flat washer mixed with a quarter inch, and uh, that quarter inch behind it obviously gives it enough coverage. And because the screw is so small, that's what the number 10 is there for. Um, and you'll see that um, this is why I kind of like these brackets in the end. Like it was kind of silly at first, but uh, the slotted hole gives me some room to mess around with. So if I mess up, like say if I put this and then I drop the level on and it's really messed up, I can back the screws out a bit and move this bracket up a quarter inch or down a quarter inch and that will level it out. So 
if you're not as skilled at being like a hundred percent accurate um th that's where these came in handy like amazingly and like i said if you decided to build something like this out of wood or however you did it you could make slotted holes just the same right if you had that trouble with that kind of accuracy right but anyways let's uh finish putting this guy up here so i got the shelf sitting up there and then you can see this guy uh, can't see it this three quarter inch right there and he's got a, a number number two robbie I got to use to put it up there, but let me just see if you can get under here. You can see I pretty much am doing the same thing. I'm putting that through a quarter inch flat washer because you can see I got slotted holes there. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's quick install this guy and that'll be the end of that. Metroid keeps, my Metroid poster keeps falling down. I'm going to move it anyways, obviously. Things have been rearranged in my room, but anyways, there it is. I would argue that it's, the shelf is kind of off by like just a little bit. It needs to come up just like barely at all like i put the level on it. it it's pretty fine i don't even know if i care enough but let's take a step back here and uh let's look at the dvd shelf so that's four lines completed i don't honestly know how many dvds i have i feel like it's like a thousand to thirteen hundred but i'm not quite sure we got a bunch more upstairs like my wife has a pretty big collection i feel like she has like a hundred to two hundred somewhere in and around there and also my kids have a pretty big collection now because they've really gotten into DVDs as streaming services have become incredibly annoying. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope it kind of made sense. Um, it's just uh, a do-it-yourself kind of cheap way that I made DVD shelves. And in the old days, I actually used to, I had two skids, one skid there and skid there. And I took them and flipped them sideways and hung them uh, backwards and yeah the inside I used to hang video games and I didn't overly collect DVDs back then but I did have some and uh, yeah you can even see here um, I make these guys for my CD holders and I just cut a little piece of wood there little piece there here here and then you just see there's four and you can probably see better there just nail them together eight nails total and then yeah I just make little they hold about I believe they hold 20 each so you can see I build tons of them because I like to kind of move them around. It kind of depends like what I'm listening to, but you can see, you can see I got an empty one in there. I got a bunch, uh, I got a lot of CDs from like thrift stores and stuff like that. So that's how I do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourself a good day.